Hello, my name is Sophie Hen and I am an author and an illustrator and you might know me from these TED books here, these little board books. You might know me from my picture books that I've written. It's got Pom Pom, Easy, Almost Anything, Pass It On My Bed, to name but a few. You might know me from these big old books, these giant life-size books there, I'm squished between a T-Rex and a panda. Oh. Um, you might know me from them, or you might know me from this naughty nana, the bad nana books there, there we go. But I'm not here to talk about any of those books today. I'm here to talk about my new fiction book, which I am very excited about, and it is called Pizzazz, you might have spotted it there. Um, it's called Pizzazz and it is about a superhero who is also called Pizzazz. Um, but the thing about this superhero is she's not that keen on being super. Um, she's born into a family of superheroes because that's apparently how it usually happens. Um, and while they're off all merrily saving the world all over the place, um, Pizzazz is a little unsure. She's not sure she really wants to do that. I mean, does the world really deserve saving? And also, she just got to a really good bit in a book. Does she really have to go now and save the planet? She has to wear the same outfit the whole time, and that outfit also comprises of an extra long cape with her name emblazoned across the back. Um, and many, many more annoying things besides that. And not only that, but Pizzazz also has to start a new school in a new town. And all of that while she's wearing the aforementioned cape. Um, so I'm going to read you um, the first half of the first chapter now. Um, so get yourselves nice and comfortable and we will begin. <gasps> the bit about me. Okay, well, I am nine and a quarter, almost nine and a half, and my name is Pizzazz. Yes. You did hear that right. My name is Pizzazz. And yes, it is completely embarrassing. And no, I don't think it's a proper name either. But as with most things around here, it really doesn't seem to matter what I think about it. With a ridiculous name like Pizzazz, I should probably be a magician or a pop star or a really smelly perfume. But I'm not any of those things. What I actually am is super. Not super as in brilliant or terrific or even very good. I am super, super, actually super, as in superhero with powers and stuff. Because of this, I have to wear a costume and part of that costume is a very annoying cape. It gets in the way, flapping around my feet and trailing in puddles and getting stuck indoors, but I still have to wear it all the time. Not just when it's cold. And my ridiculous name, which in case you hadn't already guessed, I hate, is written right across the back of my cape in huge, shiny letters. Super. I come from a family of superheroes, which is generally how it works. Not always. I mean, there's the occasional freak accident in a scientist lab or a weird weather insect reclusive millionaire incident that ends up with a perfectly normal person being able to climb up glass buildings, make lightning or jump really, really, really high or suddenly talk in a low gravelly voice. But mainly you're just born and you find yourself in a family of superheroes and you can fly and stuff. Then if you're like me, you might find yourself wondering why you don't feel quite as delighted about this as the rest of your family does. The most annoying person in my family is definitely my little sister. She's like a superhero crossed with a cheerleader, crossed with someone who is completely good at everything. Oh, and did I mention she's really happy all the time? Well, she is. Also, unlike me, she's actually got a cool superhero name, Red Dragon, which is just another of the many reasons I know my parents prefer her to me. I call her Red for short because Red Dragon is quite a mouthful to say if you want someone to pass the TV remote, get a snack or even go away. But she is absolutely not allowed to call me Piz. If I'm feeling generous, she can call me Zaz, but she's never really sure when I'm actually feeling generous. And if I'm honest, neither am I. So she tends to just call me Pizzazz, 
With a name like Red Dragon, obviously her superpower is that she can breathe fire, which is really useful, not just for defeating baddies, but at barbecues too, and for birthday cake candles. She's also got super speed, which is okay, I suppose, they are all way cooler than my superpower, which is the least cool of all the superpowers. And in fact, so uncool that sometimes I even consider letting the baddies win. So I don't actually have to use it. Yes, it's that embarrassing. Anyway, I cannot even talk about it right now. It's all just so unfair. My parents were sort of super famous about a million years ago because they have saved the world about a trillion times. But these days they just make me and Red do everything. Neutralise rockets, realign planets, load the dishwasher. It's like we're their personal servants or something. And if you think it's hard to have your mum and dad cheering you on from the sidelines at sports day, try having them cheer you on while you and your irritating little sister divert a planet-sized meteor that's on a direct collision course with Earth. Yup, no pressure. And unlucky for me, it's not just my immediate family that are completely weird. Oh no, it's actually my entire family. There's my mum, my dad, me, Red Dragon, Wanda, part pet, part telephone, Auntie Blaze, dad's awesome sister, grandmother, dad's slightly scary mum, Uncle Titano! Yes, there are that many O's. Uncle Teaser, Grandma, Mum's mum, and Gramps, Mum's dad. And then there's Auntie Fury. But we don't talk about her much. She went to the dark side. Also, we have a dog. She's not exactly a pet dog, more like a total bossy boots who happens to have four legs, a tail, flappy ears, and can't resist running around after anything you throw. We call her Wanda because that's her name and she came to us from Mission Control who are basically in charge of which super goes where, saves what and when. So instead of having an actual phone to talk to Mission Control like normal sensible people, we have a dog who receives and transmits messages and generally keeps an eye on us. Although totally embarrassing and completely weird, it does actually work okay most of the time though Wanda is absolutely not allowed to go on any missions anymore. This is because Dad threw one of the bomb's super scratchy itching powder bombs into outer space just before it exploded. But Wanda zoomed off and fetched it right back just in time for it to explode and make us all itch forever. Well, not quite forever, but at least a month. We also have two guinea pigs. Well, I have one and my sister has the other. They are actual pets and don't do anything other than the usual guinea pig stuff. But they're still super, just normal super, like great. My guinea pig is called Bernard. I named it before I knew it was a girl, but it still really suited her and I think she likes it. So I stuck with it. My sister's guinea pig is called Rocket and is actually just as annoying as she is. They're both always dashing about, achieving stuff and basically showing off. Bernard is more laid back like me. We both like to sleep a lot and eat a lot too. And we have the same favourite snack, prawn cocktail crisps. Nice. Most people seem to think that being a superhero must be completely brilliant. They are actually very wrong. You have probably guessed that I'm not particularly thrilled with being super. But there are a few good things about it. Just a few. And we're going to leave Pizzazz there. So I really hope you enjoyed um, that f first half of the first chapter of Pizzazz. And look, I'll quickly, oh, the spoilers, there we go. That's the rest of it. So it's packed full of illustrations and lots of comic strips as well. Um, so I hope you enjoy the rest of Pizzazz. And thank you very much for listening to um, my reading. And thank you very much, Moon Lane TV, for having me. Bye.